Wrong answer. God says, I gave you the gift of leadership, but I expect you to use it, and I expect you to use it right. I will tell you, and I said it in the state of the teen address, our group, this is us, and by the way, I think it's indicative of our church too, we are starved for male leadership. For men to stand up and be the leader God told them to be. We're starving for you leaders to stand up. And be the leader that God wants you to be. Four things you need to know. This, I say this one for last because this is one that I'm going to get in trouble. So I figure if it's last, I'll hurry up and get more. Who's uh, got the... Uh, Ryan. Alright, um, flee <laughs> also youthful lusts, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace, with them that call on the Lord out of the pure heart. I read just the first sentence all the way to the semicolon, slowly. You're fine. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, flee also youthful lusts. Oh man, we said the big L word in church. There's old people in goosebumps right now. They said lost in sex in church. Good. I'm going to try to make this as clear as I can for you. It's the fourth thing that you need to know. You need to know God's plan. You need to know the power of the crowd. You need to know your position in your clique. And you need to know about purity in your life. You need to know about purity in your life. the one subject I hate to talk about. You know, you know, when I sit at my desk at work and, and, and God's mauling this sermon over my head again, I, I usually have this conversation with God. Please don't make me say that. God, I can just skip over this part, right? Yeah, God, God, God you, know, you know, it's all right. You know, I can't really talk about that. And since Carrie's not here to give me the look when I'm going too far, I really can't talk about that. God brought a verse back to my mind today. It says, Dave, preach the whole counsel of God. Okay, God. So I was having this whole conversation with God. Man, God, I don't want to. God said, Dave, if you don't tell them, who's going to tell them? School tells them there's safe things to safe sex. TV tells them it's all right to sleep with anybody and everybody as long as they're good looking. What's God's word say? You know, there's only a few times in God's Word that He ever says, get up and run. Don't try to be strong. Don't try to prove you can handle it. God said, get up and run! That's what He said. Why do you think God said, get up and run when it comes to sex? Because see, I was having this conversation with God. Okay. You know, you, know, you told us, I can do all things through Christ and strengthen this me. Yeah, I'm quoting all these verses to God. You know, all right, God. You know, let's just, let's just preach it from this point of view. You know, let's, let's make a decision to be pure and we'll stand strong. <coughs> you know what God says? Run. Get up and run. You know, I'm amazed sometimes that we think retreat is defeat. Yeah, I was looking at Joseph's life. I went through the Bible and I said, okay, God, if this is your principle, then let me see it somewhere else. So he took me to Joseph. Joseph, mind his own business. Girl has a lot for him. She grabs him and says, Come on, no, 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 just be you. Just be friends with me, Fitz. You know, I mean, no, 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 come in, it's here. We'll just, yeah, we'll just do this thing. Yeah, we'll be fine. Husband will be back in a few weeks. And we'll, yeah, he'll be good. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Hear me clearly. God said, When it comes to physical intimacy, when you're a teenager, he said, Run. Get away. The best defense is no need. Why? It's the greatest thing God will ever give you as a human being. You know, God gave us trees and sunrises and sunsets painted in and all kinds of beautiful colors. And He gives us volcanoes and spew stuff up. And you have all these things. You have, you're like, wow, that's really good. That's great. And then a girl walks in the room. Now that's great! You know, I mean, that's the reaction. You know, that's that's what God put within you. You know, why do you think Adam was Let me tell you something. Adam was standing in the garden of Eden. He ain't looking at the giraffe. <laughs> 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 I 
I mean, let's face it. I mean, God said, I'm forgiven. You know, Adam's looking around. What did Adam say? What do you think he was saying? Adam's like, hey, God, there's not one for me. You know, what do you think he was talking about? Some about a girl. Do you know what God said about Adam before the fall? The only thing that God needed, it was perfect. Sin had not entered the equation yet. Here's the only thing God said man ever needed. It was a girl. It was a girl. That's how strong that is within you. That's how big of a pull that is. And God said, you can't, you can't stand it. You've got to run. See, some of you have taken this intimacy thing and you think, oh, I'm strong. I'll do it my way and I'll, I'll be a good little Christian and I'll stand firm in the back seat. We'll only go this far and we'll only do this. Baloney, you're going to fall. God said, run. If God said, run, you better get up and leave. Let me tell you girls something. If he's telling you, I love you, he'll say the same thing to some other girl. If he's saying, oh, we're going to be together forever, he's lying. I'll just tell you right now. He's saying, you want, you want, the, you want the interpretation? We'll be together until I get what I want, then I'm going to go get it somewhere else. Say, so I don't believe you, David. Ask your friends. Ask them. It's happened to more than one teenager. God said the only way to handle your purity is to run. You've got to protect it. You've got to treat it like it's the greatest gift from God because it is. It is the greatest thing God ever put between two people. You know, you can do all, you can any experience that you can have. I've been whitewater rafting. I've been to a live volcano. I've been to a rainforest. I've been to... to to the, the, the Swiss, I've been to the Alps, I've been, I've seen lots of stuff. Let me tell you something, nothing compares to the physical intimacy between a guy and a girl. Nothing. And it won't. That's why God said, protect. Be careful. Once you say I do and God gives you a girl and God gives you a guy, and God made that so that it will be the greatest thing that ever happened to you. Now, maybe not initially, but it ultimately will be one of the things that binds the two of you together. The problem is, you guys aren't protecting it. You're not treating it like the gift that it is. And God said, run with all your might. It's a principle you see over and over and over again in God's Word. You know, God said in Ephesians to stand firm. You know, resist him, resist the devil and he'll flee from you. But about sex, he said, run. Some of you should find that interesting. Against the very devil himself, God said, resist the devil and he'll flee from you. When he talks about sex, he says, run, go, as fast as you can. That's what, that's how important God thinks that piece of your life is. That it's so important that he wants you to run with it. Run away from it. The only way to protect your purity is to run away. <coughs> is to run away. Protect it as much as you can. And run, run from that temptation. Don't try to resist it. Run from it. So the four things you need to know. It's God's plan. And salvation. And life. The power of the crowd. is very strong. Your position in, in your clique. Are you a leader or are you a follower? And you've got to put purity in your life by protecting it and running away from any time that's going to be compromised. You said, David, that's the only four things we need to know. You can boil every sermon you've ever heard into one of those four categories. Everything that we try to teach you comes down to one of those four points. If you think back over the last few weeks of sermons that you've heard in here, every one of them could be pigeonholed in one of those four categories. Now here's the problem. Most of the people come to church and all they want to hear about is salvation. And it does nothing to help a teenager get through the purity pieces of their lives. Some people, all they want to hear about is, is peer pressure and they miss the plan of God to deal with sin. Let me ask you something. Which one of those four did you know? You've got to know the plan of God. You've got to know the power of this crowd and make sure it's right in your life. You've got to know your position. You've got to protect your